Ready. Ready. It's several days before the actual dream cruise takes place and this slot is already packed with muscle cars, hot rods and classic cars. Hi, I'm TK Scott for Backyard Wrench Hits TV and we're here today in the Northwood Shopping Center which is really the epicenter of this annual event. We're going to take a little walk through the lot, check out all these cool rides and I'm going to give you my pick of my top five favorites. So let's go. Okay. That was pretty good. <laughs> Maybe you should start here and then stand up with him as he gets out. I'm going to start at this GTO and then pan over to him. All right, you can do that. Tell me when. And as soon as you see the camera up to you, because I'm yeah. going to pan from GTO up to you. Got it? Yes, sir. All right. Sit back in your seat like a normal person. <laughs> Hi, it's several days before the actual Woodward Dream Cruise takes place. And as you can see, this flat is already packed with a wide assortment of hot rods. Right, uh, I think we're good. They're, they're okay. And... Hi, it's several days before the actual Woodward Dream Cruise takes place. This place is already packed with a wide assortment of hot rods, classics, and muscle cars. Hi, I'm TK Scott for Backyard Wrench Hits TV, and I'm here today at the Northwood Shopping Center, and this is really the epicenter of this whole annual event. So we're going to take a little walk through the parking lot, check out all these cool, amazing rides, and I'm going to give you my top five picks. So let's go. Very good. And several days before the actual Woodward Dream Cruise takes place. And as you can see, this lot is already packed with a wide assortment of hot rods, classics, and muscle cars. Hi, I'm TK Scott for Backyard Wrench Heads TV, and we're at the Northwood Shopping Center at the corner of 13 Mile and Woodward, which is really the epicenter of this annual event. So we're going to take a little walk through the parking lot, check out all these cool, amazing rides, and I'm going to give you my top five picks for this annual event. Let's go. Okay. Very. Get down low on the side of the car. He doesn't want you to open and close the door until time. He's just going to take a couple of pictures of the door closed. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm ready. Are you rolling? Yep. Well, fans of Backyard Wrench Heads TV, this is it. This is my number one pick for Dream Cruise 2009. It's a 1955 Pontiac Star Chief. And this thing is pristine and it is amazing. From the chrome bumpers to the hood ornaments to the shoulder straps, this thing is pristine in every way. The eye uh, and okay. How you doing, man? Well, fans of Backyard Ranch Heads TV, this is it. This is my number one pick for Dream Cruise 2009. It's a 1955 Pontiac Star Chief, the very first V8 with the uh, the amazing. Okay. Well, fans of Backyard Ranch Heads TV, this is it. This is my number one pick for Dream Cruise 2009. It's a 1955 Pontiac Star Chief, and this thing is nothing but pristine and amazing. Right from the hood ornament to the chrome bumpers to the shoulder straps, the eyebrow, first V8, the very first V8 that Pontiac had made. I'm uh, ready. Yep. Well, fans of Backyard Ranch Heads TV, this is it. This is my number one pick for Dream Cruise 2009. It's a 1955 Pontiac Starfire. Star Chief. Hey, just keep rolling. Sunfire. Keep rolling. Star Chief. It was a Volkswagen that I loved. That should have been number one, but it's not. All right, here we go. Still rolling. Rolling. Well, fans of Backyard Wrench Heads TV, this is it. This is my number one pick for Dream Cruise 2009. It's a Pontiac 1955 Star Chief. The detail is amazing. The color is amazing. From the hood ornament, the chrome bumpers, the shoulder straps, the eyebrow, the very first V8 that Pontiac ever made. I am rolling. Well, fans of Backyard Wrench Heads TV, this is it. This is my number one pick for Dream Cruise 2009. It's a 1955 Pontiac Star Chief. And this thing is nothing but amazing and pristine. From the hood ornament to the... There you go. Well, that's what you did yesterday. 
great. We didn't know they were called suspenders. He should be able to remember the word trim. Yeah. <laughs> so the reason I picked this car, let's start from there. So some of the reasons I chose this car is number one, the detail, the amazing detail, the hood ornament, the suspenders, the chrome bumpers, the very first V8 that Pontiac put in a car, the eyebrows, the sides, the stars, the toilet seat white walls. <laughs> this thing is nothing but amazing. The straight sides, the paint job, the chrome, the chrome handles, mirrors that were an option back in 1955. And the color, the interior is nothing but amazing. All the creature comforts that they offered in 55, but it's not a lot to choose from. The V8 emblem, all chrome, the chrome bumpers, the tail lights, the, uh, the backup lights, the sides of the trunk. Right, I've got, let's go. right, I ran. Okay. I am rolling. Well, fans of Backyard Ranch Heads TV, this is it. This is my number one pick for Dream Cruise 2009. It's a 1955 Pontiac Star Chief, and this thing is nothing but amazing. From the hood ornament, the suspenders, the chrome bumpers, very first V8 that Pontiac put in a car. The, the, uh, oh, that's all right. All right, okay. It's your pick. All right. The eyebrows would say, hey, you can see <laughs> the white, the white walls. I wonder where I got that, maybe. Okay. Tell me when. I'm rolling. So some of the details that impressed me, the eyebrows, and they're way beyond a trim. The toilet seat white walls, the big hubcaps, the chrome bumpers, straight sides. This thing is amazing. The stars, the stainless steel trim, the mirrors, door handles, chrome, stainless steel fender skirts. How straight the sides are, how pristine and perfect this car is. That's why it's my number one pick. Come on in and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you can shift. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway, this is probably what impressed me the most is this interior and all the detail. I'll start over here now. Let's grab out the seat. Okay. So I was waiting for the girls to hop in, but anyway. <laughs> what impressed me the most about this car is the detail, the interior, the trim, the dashboard, the, the fence, the AM radio, you got to remember that, CKLW, 85,000 original miles on this car, and this thing is nothing but perfect inside and out. In fact, it's looking like rain, but if this was my car, the top would be up and the windows would be up. Can you imagine dusting all of this? If, if it got covered in dust and you had to wipe it all down, it'd be a day's job just wiping the dust out of this car. But this is my number one pick for these reasons. Just the, all the trim detail, all the interior, the huge horn ring, all the chrome, the shifter on the column. This thing is nothing but impressive. Okay. You can say this even got a Pontiac Clerk Chief, whatever. What's Pontiac Chief? What do they call that logo? The Chief. What's that logo called? That's the Star That's Chief. Pontiac, uh, uh, Chief Pontiac. Official name. Yeah, Chief, Chief Pontiac. Pontiac. Say, you know, the fact that you can with a Chief Pontiac logo on it, you know, there that's you the kind of detail. It's probably the slapable truck. But your favorite is the vent windows, and then crank that baby open. And roll it. So besides being a really rare convertible rag top, the other details that amaze me, the Chief Pontiac Kleenex dispenser, the clock, the interior totally redone totally totally redone to specs and the crank windows that you never see anymore you never see these on cars besides the chrome all right let's do that all do that one okay i am rolling so besides being a extremely hey, keep going, keep going. i'm rolling besides being an extremely rare rag top with the two-tone custom interior the diamond on the dashboard the chief pontiac Well, besides being an extremely rare red top convertible, the two-tone seats are amazing. Total restoration, right back to factory specs. The diamond on the dashboard, the Chief Pontiac Kleenex dispenser, the clock, the AM radio, and the vent windows that crank. All right, that's back to the AM radio. We'll be killing you. You going? I'm rolling. 
So besides being an extremely rare convertible rag top, the two-tone seats are restored to factory specs. The diamond on the dash, the cigarette lighter, the Chief Pontiac Kleenex dispenser, and the crank vent windows. Very nice. Uh, Just a little bit, right there. Don't expect me to look at him then, because you did the same thing Can with my brother. Him? Remember? My brother was this close, and you're going, you're not looking at him. You remember that? So I'm not, I'm not going to look at him then. If, we, if you Turn want us this... Okay. So you always get scolded. Keep your, keep your body in position to look at the camera when you start. Just okay. Like I am a roller. So here we have the owner of this pristine 1955. This is Rod. So Rod, tell us a little bit about the car. Well, you've already explained what the car is. I've got this car about eight years ago. I was looking for one like it for about 10 years. I had one like it when I was a kid. How long have you owned this car? Uh, about eight years. I'm sorry. You said that. My mistake. My mistake. You try to use another word than pristine because you use that about three times. All right. It's beautiful. All right. Yourself. That looks pretty good. Wait, well, you got a guy in the back here in the shot. Okay. Very good. You can watch my shot. I don't think that's actually. Hang on, waiting for it to. You good? No, hold on a second. Your brother-in-law back there. No, that's my sister-in-law. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sure. Oh, Donna Cobo Hall is worse. I mean. Okay, I'm rolling. So here we have the owner of this outstanding. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Yeah, the sirens ain't working either. And I am rolling. So here we have the owner of this outstanding Pontiac. This is Rod. So Rod, tell us a little bit about the car. Well, I used to have one like this when I was a kid, and I looked years for it. I found this about eight years ago, and it was pretty sacked up. It needed everything. And you did most of the restoration yourself? Yes, yes. You were a former body shop owner, so you know body, you know paint. Yes, I do, and this was kind of my therapy after I retired. Yep. And you're, you're, you're geared now, right? Absolutely. I'm okay now. <laughs> Sorry. Keep going. Keep going. Start the conversation. Go ahead. I'm going to get this. So tell us about the drivetrain and the motor. Okay, this is, the, as you said, first year for the uh, V8. It's a 287. Uh, it runs really good. It has a high dramatic transmission. It runs down the road smooth as silk. Uh, just kind of glides. Shifts nice. Powerful. Get up and go. It has that full size Pontiac ride, I assume. Absolutely. How many other Pontiacs besides this? B-roll to throw in after, right? It's the only tight thing on Roll it. This is another one of my top five picks. This is a 1955 Chevy 210 sedan. 502 big block Chevy, 615 horsepower. I love the sides, rolling on 20s in the back, 18s in the front. I love the way he airbrushed the moldings in. The paint is pristine. The chrome door handles are taken off. The interior is totally custom. This is in my top five picks. Again? And, okay. This is definitely in my top five picks. 1955 Chevy 210 sedan. Near and dear to my heart because I had a 56 as a kid. This thing is totally custom. Door handles removed. 502 big block Chevy. 615 horsepower. Totally custom interior. Door handles removed. Rolling on 20s on the back and 18s in the front. Total restoration. This thing is spotless in my top five. Okay, Alex. I'm 
I'm about losing light as it is. So. That's cool. I get it. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Great. And go. We're looking at a 23 Ford Model T center door. This thing was rolling on wood spokes back in the day. Custom chassis, custom fab, 302 engine, total restoration. Like Henry Ford said, if you want it, you got to buy it in black. Center door, model, model 23. Model. Yeah, start up here at the right. It started with the Henry Ford. Henry Ford said, uh, you can have any color you want. Okay. okay. Let's start with that. I would start with it. And there we go. See how that works. And go ahead. So Henry Ford said you can have any color you want as long as it's black. This is a 23 Ford Model T center door. Total restoration. This thing was rolling on wood spokes originally, but this guy totally rest. It was black. All right. Come on, go. You all right with that? Oh, and roll it. So Henry Ford said you can have any color you want as long as it's black. This is a 23 Model T Ford center door, total restoration. This thing was rolling on wood spokes, but this guy custom made the frame. You don't hear none of that. Very good. Yeah, I don't hear any of that. Anyway, you got about a Okay. And go ahead. So Henry Ford said you can have any color you want as long as it's black. You're looking at a 23 Ford Model T center door. Total restoration. This thing was rolling on wood spokes. Total custom new frame. This guy redid the frame. 302 Ford engine. I love the interior. I love the red spokes, what he's done to it. We got... That's right. You rolling? I'm rolling. Okay. Henry Ford said you can have any color you want as long as it's black. You're looking at a 1923 Model T Ford center door. Total restoration. This guy was rolling on wood spokes, but he custom built this frame, 302 Ford engine. The interior is immaculate. The interior is the way it came in 1923. Okay, now can we pick up from there and something more? And go ahead. Originally, this car came with a four-cylinder, 20 horsepower. The reason I like it, the straight sides, the pristine interior, the red spoke wheels really do it justice, too. This is in my top five picks. All right, you want to do that? Okay, you want to do that? Okay, originally came with a... Right.